Hi, Mike Kennedy with you here. And we're today going to be talking about how to activate a king oyster mushroom kit. Okay, you can see it's in a typical uh, mushroom bag. It has the uh, uh, filter on it that allows oxygen and CO2 to go in and out, but not moisture, okay? Now this isn't like some of the other kits. What we're going to have to do to activate this properly and get it going is first we're going to spank it, okay? That is actually going to jostle things around in there and make them more active. And then we're going to cut. I'll show you one with it cut. We're going to cut a corner out of one side of it and leave it open. You can see that goes about three or four inches down, about half, a little more than halfway and over. Okay, and we're going to leave it like that, just like that. And the theory here behind this is that the theory behind this is that CO. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. The theory behind this is that CO2 is heavier than oxygen. Mushrooms use oxygen and give off CO2. So it's going to allow the CO2 to puddle in here a little bit. And that's going to actually encourage the king oyster mushrooms to grow the way we want them to grow. Okay, so it's important to do that. Now obviously now we've broken the seal so moisture can escape from this bag. So we got to add a little moisture to this. So we're going to try misting this once a day to keep the moisture in it. Now these want to be kept around 60 degrees for an optimal uh, fruiting, okay? So let's actually take the bag that isn't done and we'll do that. Okay, so again, we're going to have this this corner cut out here. Well, I guess we'll leave the patch on just because that's got a that's got a serial number and everything. Not that we need it, I guess. But so let's cut down here, about three or four inches down. And we're just going to bring that over just a little more than halfway. And we're going to go up to the top of the bag. And we're going to cut a little of this away again so that we can have more of an opening. Just like that. There we have it. Now we've taken our, our King Oyster Mushroom Kit. We've made the proper opening in it. Now we're just going to leave it alone. Uh, it may take two weeks, I'm not sure. But uh, if you've ever looked at the price of King Oyster Mushrooms, they're quite high. And also, King Oyster Mushrooms have uh, they will say, they will call it a beefy texture, but sometimes that confuses people thinking it's going to taste like beef. But the idea is mushrooms can go from being very, say, uh, cooking and almost like disintegrating into nothing to something like this king oyster that's still going to have a lot of substance and texture to it even after it's cooked. So that's one reason why uh, king, mush king oyster mushrooms are sought after because of this idea of the texture that they retain. So there we have again, we've spanked it to activate the stuff that's in there to jostle it around, wake it up kind of. Then we've cut this hole out of roughly a little more than, or a little less than quarter of the bag, one side of the bag. Okay, and again, the use of the, the King Oyster kits that Sean has so now you know everything about it. And of course, uh, you can watch 
to follow up and we'll be uh, posting pictures of them as they grow as well. Mike Kennedy saying, have a good day and enjoy your mushrooms.